I'm Jay Shashuksuri, Product Specialist, IQS. Today I'm going to talk about the different software packages of Toolstalk 2. So the PF6000 is super easy to program and you could also program the PF6000 from the screen in front here or you can use a web GUI to do every configuration. However, there are other functionalities you might need to help you manage your line easier in Toolstalk 2. We'll go to details in the next presentation. So let's go take a look. So there are four software packages to Toolstock 2. On your left is Station Setup. This is an offline version for Toolstock 2. Another three version you have is Line Licensor, Line Configurator, and your best option is Line Manager. These three versions are a server version of Toolstock 2 which means you have to install it on a server and access it through a client. This is for multiple users. For station setup, as said, this is an offline version of Toolstock 2. So this is used to configure a controller in a one-to-one -one connection. You could do offline and online configurations, which means your controller could be saved in your station setup and you can view it offline later and do changes later. You could also have up to 250 live traces, which means on the point of connection, you could compare 250 traces. There's also field bus and soft PLC programming in station setup. And you could also create a controller template in your station setup and distribute it to different stations. This is licensed per computer. So if you have three computers with three different MAC address, you need three licenses of station setup. In line licensor, this is the first smallest package in Toolstalk 2. This is a version where no license is required. But your only functionality is you could manage the licenses and do field bus mapping. All other functionalities is read only. So to configure your controller, you'll still need to use your web GUI or station setup. Next is line configurator. Line configurator is similar to station setup where you could do everything. You could do your configurations, you could do soft POC, you could do field bus mapping, but the additional functionality is you have a plant structure, which means every controller is connected to your server and you could jump around from controller A and B. You could even copy paste programs. You could also manage your licenses through FMS, which means if you want to rebalance your line, controller A has six tools, controller B has one tool. You could move all those tool licenses from A to B. This is licensed per virtual station. So if your plant has six tools connected to the server, you need six licenses of Toolstock 2, Line Configurator, however, unlimited amount of users. Your best option is Line Manager, hence the name, not only configuring your controller, you could also manage your users. You could say user A has um, a role of managing licenses, user B could only do changes on a certain production line. You could do scheduled tasks, which means you can do automatic backup of your whole production line, or you can schedule firmware updates. Programming archive, this means any changes made in your program is saved in the database, so you could roll back to any state and time. Global programming is you could create a global program and distribute it to different stations. This is a subscribe base, so all your controllers will have all the same settings as a global program, and no changes could be made from the local station. Any changes made from a global program is mirrored to the stations. Software management is you can mass update your firmware or you can schedule it. Last is program approval. So that's the main features of different versions of Toolstock 2. Line Manager is also licensed per virtual station. For Toolstock 2 station setup, it's suitable for you have an offline environment, such as this controller, where it's not 
all connected or the controller is not pointing at a server, such as your MCB, for example. So what you could do is I have my Toolstock 2 here. I have an Ethernet cable. I connect it to my controller. And what it could do is configurations, fuel bus and soft PLC programming, offline programming, and trace analysis. So let's go take a look in the software. So Toolstock 2 station setup is your controller configuration program. As you can see here, I can configure my Titan program. I could set up my batch, my sources, or I could see my controller information. Set up my fuel bus and see the results as well. For Toolstock 2 LAN configurator, it's better for a connected environment. For example, behind me here, I have three controllers and all these three controllers is connected to my server. What I do is I could copy paste a program. For example, I could copy a program from here, paste it here. I could copy a batch program from this controller and paste it to this controller. I could also view results. I could view results on that controller, this controller. So it's pretty easy when you have a connected environment. You could also do FMS, functionality management system, which means you can move around your features. I might want to move my soft PLC from this station to this station or vice versa. Toolstock 2 line configurator is suitable for a connected environment, maybe a tier one customer or somebody who has more than one controller. Not only have a connected environment, but you want to manage your production line. In Toolstock 2, we have Active Directory, which means different users can have different roles. Someone could do backup, somebody else could do FMS, somebody else could configure just a certain production line. We also have Program Archive, which means every change is made is saved in the database. So you could roll back to any state and time. We also have Go Programming, which means you might have a standard program, and every station is subscribed to the global program. Any changes made in the global program is mirrored to all the stations. Last, you could imagine you could update all the controllers. You have 200 controllers, and you want to update all the firmware in one shot. We also could do that in Toolstock 2 Line Manager. It is suitable for OEMs, tech center, or somebody who wants to manage their production line much more efficiently. So those are different software packages for Toolstock 2, and it is suitable for different needs. Please contact your Atlas Copco representative for more details, and thanks for watching.